Hello beautiful souls and welcome to Karuna Yoga. My name is Veronica and in today's video we are going to do some yoga for the eyes. Ding ding! Um, in today's life it's really easy to forget about exercising our eyes. Uh, we are watching a computer or a screen all out all throughout our day really because we are looking at our phones or we are working at a desk. Um, and even when you're just tired, like generally tired, um, it's really easy to, to feel this tiredness in the eyes. Um, and I definitely feel this in my body, even though I'm um, more up and around, so I'm not working at a, at a computer, at a desk. But when I get tired, I just feel all the muscles behind the eyes are pulling onto my eyes. And sometimes it even gives me a headache. Um, so I thought I would bring some exercises for you that are great to just exercise the eyes and really have those muscles to stretch out and strengthen as well. These exercises I find are great as well to just bring more awareness to us, help, help you to widen your awareness simply because you are able to look around more even when you're walking down the street, you're not just shifting your focus to one point but you're gazing around with, a, with more ease, let's say. Okay, without further ado, jump on your mat and let's get this video started. So first of all, let's come into a seated position where our legs are straightened. I have a block behind me. I showed it to you in the previous videos. If you're just putting the block and sitting on the edge and kind of allowing you to halfway sit off of the block, so your sit bones are on the floor and it's really just your flesh that is supported by the block that will help you to remain straight in your back and straight upright position. Okay, so come into your seated position and once you have found your comfort let me composition myself into the middle of the frame and once you find your comfort here we will just start with some palming exercises so this will be the exercise that you will add in between all the other exercises just so you can rest your eyes so just rubbing the palms together creating some heat and warming up the hands and then placing the palms on top of your eyes and just allowing the warmth to soften and relax the eyes. And just stay here for 10 to 20 seconds. And once you're done, just release the hands, keeping the eyes closed and then opening the eyes up. You're more than welcome to do these exercises more, but just so this video stays informative rather than um, a follow along video, um, we will just carry on with the next exercise. But as I said before, do it as many times as you want, five to 10 times, and you can also add this exercise in between the other exercises. So the next one will be blinking. What, but I blink all the time. It's gonna be conscious blinking. So just look straight ahead of you, find a point. My point of focus is the camera right now. And just start with some stronger blinks than what you would do when you're just uh, moisturizing your eyeballs. And do it 10 times. And then you can start with the palming exercise placing the hands on the eyes and just relaxing in the darkness. And then we will carry on with this exercise. So I will do three rounds, but you can do five to 10, five to ten rounds, uh, depending on how much time you have today. So I'm just gonna blink 10 times, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then placing my palms on the eyes and relaxing. And then coming back to the room and do 10 more blinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the palming exercise again. And then releasing the hands 
and we will carry on with our next exercise, which is sideway viewing. So if you're sitting up in this position, then bring your fists in front of you. They're just like an easy grip. You don't need to really squeeze them in. And just bringing the thumbs up, thumb up for these exercises. <laughs> and then start taking the arms away from each other Keep looking ahead of you at that point that you have chosen before and once your thumbs kind of disappear from your uh, peripheral, peripheral, I think that's the word, <laughs> from your vision anyway, then bring them back so they are, um, they are in your vision but you're not focusing on them. So the exercise will go without turning your head, you will look at your left thumb, then up between the eyebrows and then at your right thumb, and then up between the eyebrow center. And just carrying on, that was one round, and then left, up, right, up, three. Left, up, right, up, four. Left, up, right, up, five. Left, up, right, up, six. Left, up, right, up seven left up right up eight left up right up nine left up right up ten you can just release the hands and again close your eyes warm up your palms and just allow the eyes to rest you can do this with your own pace so you don't have to go as quick as i did so if you feel that your eyes are super tired, just coming back to the room, if you feel that your eyes are super tired, going slower actually is a nicer way to stretch them out. Um, okay, the next exercise is very similar to this one, but this time we will uh, bring the right hand, the right fist down, leave the left out to the side. So again, find where you can see the thumb, and when it disappears. And then we'll go left, then we look at the right, and then come back to center. So looking at the left thumb, bringing it down to the right, and then back to center. So that was two, down, center, three, left, down, center, four, left, down, center, five, left, down, center, six, left, down, center, seven, left, down, center, eight, left, down, center, nine, left, down, center, ten. And then we'll bring the left fist down to rest on the left knee and the right hand. Find where you can still see the thumb and then we'll go on the right side 10 times. So we'll look right, down, center, one. Right, down, center, two. Right, down, center, three. <laughs> right, down, center, four. Right, down, center, five. Right, down, center, six. Right, down, center, seven, right, down, center, eight, right, down, center, nine, right, down, center, ten. Okay, and again, rubbing the hands together and then just placing the palms on the eyes and allowing them to rest, especially if you had a long day or um, your eyes are just really tired today. Allow yourself to spend some time here. And then slowly returning to the room. We will go with our next exercise. So now this time both hands are down resting at the knee, on the top of the knees. And we'll go with the up and down movement. Again, without turning the head, just follow the thumb that is moving up and down with your eyes. Um, first, we'll go with the left, and then we'll go with the right, all together 10 times. So focusing on the left thumb, bringing it up, 
until you can continue following it with your eyes and then bringing it down. That was one. On the right side, bringing the thumb up and then coming back down, two. On the left side, up and down, three. Up and down, four. Up and down, five. Up and down, six. Left side up and down, seven. Up and down, eight. And just once more on each side. Down and last time on the right, up and down. Again, rubbing the palms together and then placing them on the eye sockets and allowing the eyes to rest here for a sec. Okay, and then gently coming back to the room, we will go with some rotations. So again, resting uh, both fists on the top of the knees, we will start circling with the thumb, with the left one, 10 times, and with the right one, 10 times, and following all the way uh, with the eyes. So start focusing on the left thumb, and then just take the circle around without moving the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and we will go 10 times on the right as well. Oh, I feel dizzy, <laughs> like the world is spinning around. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rubbing the palms together and then placing them on the eye sockets. I'm definitely developing a different relationship with my thumbs now. I don't think I've ever looked at them <laughs> this much before. but I feel good in the eyes. I hope you also feel good. And then gently coming back to the room. So prelimi preliminary nose tip gazing. Holding your left fist out in front of you. Again, give yourself a big thumbs up for doing these exercises for your eyes. And then shift your focus on that thumb. Now what we will do is we will move the thumb close to the nose tip and then taking it away 10 times, following it with the eyes, with our focus. We are now exercising those muscles that help us focus. This is four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Great. And this is going to be the last exercise that we are doing on our mat. Uh, but there is one more that helps you shifting your focus even further. But that you have to do next to a window. Um, so if you look out of the window, just choose a point that is far away from you shifting your focus to that point, I will just choose the corner of the room here, and then looking at the tip of the nose for five seconds, four, three, two, one. Again, looking into the distance, focusing on that point, and then shifting in for five, four, three, two, one. 
looking away and then bringing it closer. I think you got the idea after the two runs, so we don't have to carry on with that. You can do that in your own time at your window, hopefully in this beautiful winter scene, <laughs> and there is nice scenery around you that you can bring your gaze and attention to, and just carry on with the exercises. Um, now in the Bihar book, they are recommending to do these exercises twice a day um, in the morning and in the evening but I think even if you just start once a day because actually they can be quite um, quite vigorous I find especially if you're tired and if you have a lot going on um, just gently getting used to exercising the muscles of the eyes is a great idea and then once you have developed this as a habit and built it into your daily practice then you can do it morning and evening or whenever you have time really um, I think in either case it's just good if we are uh, breaking ourselves away from just looking at a screen directly in front of us for a long period of time uh, and then sometimes just take the eyes into different points and giving these giving these muscles um, some good stretch and good exercise all right, I really hope that you have enjoyed today's class and these practices will be beneficial for you and your eye health. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give a like, a comment, a share, and don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And as you know, these videos are free and will always be free. But if you want to give me some support, then go over to my Patreon page and you can show me some love there too. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Have a lovely, lovely day and take a really good care of yourself. Don't forget to breathe, balance and blossom and drink plenty of water and eat well. Om Shanti Namaste.